Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Matt Nagaki, the vocalist of Cryptopsy and the host of the Vox and Hops Metal Podcast. And this is Brutal North America! Brutal North America! Voici Oli, bass player pour Aquarium. Hi, I'm Rob, a guitar player from Mercurion. On est ici aujourd'hui dans le vieux port de Montréal à Brewski parce qu'on est venu aider à brasser notre bière. Collaboration avec Vox Ops qui va s'appeler The Kingdom Over Stout. And it's a coconut coffee stout. And we're here helping uh, with the uh, Brewski uh, crew uh, to brew this beer. It's going to be delicious. Is that right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Travailler pour boire de la bière. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Are you, Rob? Come on, hurry up. Yes, boss. <laughs> It's Mr. Boss. <laughs> What's going on? Alex Arian here representing the Spized Icon and Masorum Brassatorium. I'm extremely pleased to present my boys, Acurion, for the Vox and Hops Brutal North America. So the story of Acurion is actually a pretty cool story. Uh, Rob and I had gotten together early on, and uh, Rob had brought some riffs, and, and I had some, some lyrics and some patterns, and we sort of sat down and tried to figure out a few different different patterns and put, put them together. Um, once we did a few of these songs, we actually got uh, Tommy and uh, Ollie involved. Once we were actually in the same room together, uh, it was clear that this was a Curian. Uh, we had the same ideas uh, in terms of what we wanted to do. One of the big things that we wanted to do was to um, play live and uh, in the studio. So we wanted to record an album uh, old school style. I don't think any of us had, that, had actually done that in the sense of you know, all our experience was going into the studio, you know, play the drum parts and then add the guitars over it and, you know, sort of the standard way of doing it. You know, we're all, you know, adept players and shit, so we were just like, let's do something that we haven't done. Let's get out of our comfort zone and, um, and, and create something that uh, we can be very proud of in the sense of, you know, working hard and, and learning the parts and making sure that we were in the pocket before we could go in the studio and record. So we actually had a few different uh, different scenarios that had taken place. One of them was when we went to uh, McGill uh, Studio. Soon after that, we went to The Grid with Chris Donaldson, of course. And we had the idea to do one of the songs uh, through him, which was Yet yeah, You See Them Not. But we got to sit in the room and play live and just feed off of each other. And um, that's... You know, any, any musician wants that, you know, I, I, I think I think this is something that, you know, whether you do it or you utilize it or whether you, you actually go for, for that type of, of recording, uh, this was huge for us to be able to just knock that out. <laughs> 